Today's video is going to be on this here snapper. We got leaky hydro gear transmissions on it. And they're leaking from the charge pump, which is underneath. So I went ahead and ordered the new parts for it because I was told that they upgraded the parts. There's aluminium parts under there now, and the new parts have been upgraded to steel. So let's see what they sent us from Hydro Gear. This is like an unboxing video. So you get two videos in one. Repair video. And an unboxing video. <gasps> Look what they sent us. Oh my. <sighs> Some beautiful paper. Oh. Are these the instructions? Oh no. This must have had some extra paper lying around. Oh, here they are, the parts. And I also am going to change the oil filters on these transmissions. These are Hydra Gear 3100. I think they're Z, ZL or ZT 3100. It takes two filters. I had one in stock. A rotary brand Hydra Gear filter. But I only had one. And when I checked stock with Rotary, they were all out. I was going to, you know, get a matching set, but they were on back order. So I ordered the other one from Hydra Gear. So here's these kits for these charge pumps. And it looks like they sent a little love note. And there's a love note that looks like there's inside this oil filter. So let's, let's go over to the bench and see what they sent us, what love note they sent us. So it's basically an oil pump and this is steel, not aluminium. I was going to say there should be an O-ring in here. Here's the O-ring. And here's the love note. Let's see what they say. And what models that this covers. Alright, so here it is. Affected products. ZT2800, 3100, 3400, and G700. Charge cover. Z2831 and Z700 products utilize a previous revision charge cover. The charge pump kit received contains the new revision charge cover that is backwards compatible. Reference the instructions and figures below for installation. Locate the directional identification mark on the current charge cover. Make an identical mark on the main housing next to the directional mark on the charge cover. Remove the two screws and the charge cover. Remove the G rotor and O-ring. Never used the previous revision and only used the new charge cover revision C in figure three. So this is figure three directional mark so they want me before I take the one that's on there off they want me to make a mark an identification mark almost like a maker's mark <laughs> and then for more technical assistance contact your hydro gear central service distributor and then if you have this ZT3400 Square end of charge cover, identification mark. All right, let's see what it says on this side. Charge pump orientation. So here's the cover, the new one. Locate the directional identification mark. Make an identification mark on the main housing. Remove the two screws, remove that. 
Install the O-ring onto the housing. Install generator assembly onto the shaft. Align the squared end of the new charge cover, figures three and four, square directional mark, all right. Align the squared end, this end, of the new charge cover, figure three and four, toward the identification mark on the main housing. See page two for more detail. Install the two screws torqued to 100 to 130 inch pounds. All right. So this is my old cover, say. I find that mark, I make a mark there, a maker's mark, and a square directional mark. So if I made my mark here, I want to put the cover so that my the squared end is towards that. Because if you look at this, it's not in the center. It doesn't look centered. So if you don't put it on right, you're gonna you're gonna wreck something. So obviously they knew it was leaking. They don't say that in there. They don't tell you anything about it leaking. All right, let's see what this other love note says in this oil filter. Why do we need a love note with the oil filter? Stop! Hydro gear. Stop! Read the following before performing oil service. Dear Terrell, products group affected. And there's ours, 3100. Scan the provided QR code to access the video for the HydroGear transaxle oil change instructions. If the vehicle has an external reservoir tank, both fittings are compatible. If the vehicle does not have an external reservoir tank, only the dual barb fitting is compatible. Tanks, no tanks, no tanks. Always change oil while it is less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Failure to do so may cause an overfill condition. To obtain the HydroGear dual barb fitting, as shown in figure B, contact your local HydroGear service center. Okay, I got external reservoir tanks. And they want you to use 2050 motor oil to, to put in here. So these instructions are a little uh, confusing here. Okay, so they're saying that there should be a directional mark on here. Well, the only mark that I see dropping the screws already is there's like a number one on the bottom here. And I noticed that they are on opposite sides of this transmission. So I wonder if this mark, this number one, I wonder if that's the mark they're talking about here. Because they're on opposite sides. Because looking at the bottom of the transmission here, which would actually be like this, it would be this one here. Here's the flat side. And here's that number one. And they're saying mark it like that. But on this side, that one is on this side. So there's got to be a reason there's a directional mark on there. So they don't want you to get confused when you take it apart. So I need to make a mark here, and I may need to make a mark there. And then we'll see what happens as we take this apart. So let me get a Sharpie or a paint pen and make my marks. I mean, sometimes these instructions from these companies are kind of vague. They don't explain it very well sometimes, and it can be confusing. So this is the cover. And 
I didn't know this was sealed up too. That fits in there. They don't mention anything about that. There is a little dot on each end here. But no mention of, you know, any of that. And then here's the gasket. I left my knife over on the workbench. Let me get a little pick tool. Okay. This is like an O-ring where this is like a square cut gasket. There's a little bit of dirt. Now this, this thing was all oily. I had pressure scrubbed it first because we wanted to verify where the oil leak was from because the customer said it was leaking from the axle seal but it wasn't leaking from the axle seals it was leaking from these charge pump covers so now they're saying this square end should be facing that mark that I made That could have been disastrous. Okay. Since I want, they both had a little divot on it, I want that to face off. And then I'll try to get this on like this. So this is their new little fix here. And then they gave me two new screws. No mention of Loctite. Or anything like that. Just a torque setting. they said was between a hundred and a hundred and thirty inch pounds all right let me get my torque wrench all right I got it set at 115 and I just tightened it by hand and it's Plenty tight. So let's get that other one out. And let's see something here. So yeah, it's offset. So you gotta go by that that number one, see? Because then this is this is going to be off. So in our case, we have to go by that number one. That's our identifying mark. Just wanted to be sure. Because when you're trying to match it up to the uh, to the drawing that they gave us. But again, no mention about the marks on here. In the little love note. So I'm just assuming you're just gonna wanna keep those marks together. You're not gonna wanna put it like this. What about this one? Let's, let's take a look at this one and see. There's marks on here. So 
all sticky. Yeah. Yep, there's little marks. There's little marks on there. Which we're facing down. But again, no mention of that in the instructions. Because the back is just a bunch of different looking covers. But they don't show the one we got with the number one on it. All I know is this thing's a number two. <laughs> Get it? Let's move this over. Oil tank. So we don't make a mess. Now this one, that mark is on one side, that little divot. So that may not that may not mean anything. Alright, where is that? Is that little pick tool I just had? There it is, got it under there. get this over right now. Get that out of the way. Well, I'm gonna put it like the other one was. The marks down. And then I'm gonna put this on here. And then here's our X, so we want our square end towards that X. Well, you know what I forgot, dummy? Gotta put the gasket in there. There's the gasket. Put your lock now. With all this oil leaking out, the gasket is getting plenty of oil on it. And then here's our two new screws. they want you to mark it because it's not centered and otherwise you're going to be trying to fight it if you put it on the wrong way thing came in you know it was leaking pretty good when you would drive it it was leaking right away so we'll tie 
stop. Well, I'm going to change the filters next. I'll go a little tighter. All right, let me get an oil filter wrench. Hold on, filter is off. I got this filter loose. Now the oil's coming out. Looks pretty clean. Now the part number is on the oil filter, just in case you want to know. So if you're not sure what filter your hydro gear takes, and there's these covers that go over them to protect it. However they want. But we took them off because we wanted to see where it was leaking from. Wipe it all off real good. Fill it up. Check for leaks. Okay, I put some 2050 in there. Now they're way overfilled. But you seen how much oil came out when I pulled out the, the filter. So we got to kind of get them purged again. But the fill level cold is way down here. Can you see my finger there, Mr. Cameraman? There's a line right here that says full coal. So if I have to, see, it's already starting to percolate a little bit. So if, it, if it's overfilled, I can just suck some of the oil out because I got that oil extractor. So I had to pull out the, uh, the seat switch and bypass it because I got the wheels off so I could run it and, and move the levers front and back so we can kind of purge some of this out. Now, sometimes it takes a while to do this because you'll get a bunch of air bubbles in the tank and then you kind of have to let it sit for 15, 20 minutes till those air bubbles dissipate and then you got to do it again. And of course, this thing's got a dead battery in it. It probably needs a new battery. This, this thing needs a bunch of other stuff done to it too, but the oil leaks were just one of the things. So, let me put the parking brake on. And we'll start this thing up.
And a lot of times it also helps the, the relief valves, like on this model here, the relief valves are under here. So a lot of times you might have to put the, the relief valves in to purge that air out. It takes a little while. I know some, some shops have a way of pressurizing it to put a little pressure on there. But you can see the oil levels have dropped way down. Because remember I had them all at the top, now they're down at the bottom. Actually this one is, is real low and that one's pretty low. So I'm going to have to add a little bit more oil. It takes time, don't freak out. Sometimes you got to give the hubs a little help. Sometimes you got to spin them a little bit to get them going. But once you get all that air purged out, Then it starts working again. It takes a little while. So let's take a look underneath. Let me raise this thing up again. Let's see if those charge pumps. Come on. I don't see any leaks. Got a little residual oil from, you know, pulling these oil filters off. But these things were leaking right away, these charge pump covers. So if you've got one of these mowers that's leaking oil, this is where you're going to want to check first. But again, Got to get it real clean first, and then start checking for leaks. Like these covers say right on there that they got the ZT3100 transmissions in them. It says right on the covers. So that kind of helps you figure out what, what unit you have. But uh, I'll top it off some more, and uh, Put the wheels on it and ride it around. We still got to put new belts and everything on this thing because the drive belt's pretty shot. But that's what it takes. In case you got one of these that's leaking from them charge pump covers, now you know, like me, that there's an upgraded kit. So if you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you already haven't subscribed. Check out our web store. We got all kinds of stuff like this nice dinosaur juice t-shirt. You know where this would look good? Look good on you, grass rat. Follow me. Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. TikTok, I'm a clock. TikTok, I'm a clock. With your leaky lawnmowers. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Fix the leaky transmissions on the snapper. It's a red snapper. Still got more work to do to it. Oh, hey there, grass rats. Have you subscribed to our new channel, Carol Fixes All Skits? What are you waiting for? Go over there and subscribe, or I'm going to hit you with this hammer. <laughs>